Hello, I'm Dean McDonald from Tech Skills. In this video, I will describe and demonstrate how to clean a computer case, and then I'll also clean a mechanical and optical mouse. Let's get started. The inside of a computer case be can become quite dusty. You should open up the computer case occasionally and clean it out. General places that dust accumulates are on the intake fans, generally on the front of the machine, and the exhaust fans and grills on the back of the machine. To power supply. Most computers have a heat sink and fan assembly. This heat sink and fan has fins on it and fans that can collect quite a bit of dust. You also want to make sure that around your video card, a lot of the new video cards will have heat sinks and some of them will also have fans that you want to check and make sure there's no dust. Inside the computer next to the CPU is going to be your RAM modules. You want to make sure that the RAM modules are free of dust. And one of the last places is around your hard drive. If your hard drive is dusty and dirty, it won't run as efficiently. To clean the majority of the dust out of the case, you can use canned or compressed air. When you're spraying the canned or compressed air, you want to make sure that you're 10 to 12 inches from where you're spraying it. You want to make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. You want to make sure that you hold the can upright. If you tilt it a little bit or you tilt it slightly upside down, the liquid propellant on the inside can get on your components and you don't want that to happen. If a computer case is really dirty, you can use a small bristled brush to help you remove some of the caked on dirt and dust. For cases that are really dirty, I recommend you clean those outside for obvious reasons. Once you've given the case a good spray down with the compressed air, you can use a lint-free rag to wipe the remaining dust out. You can also clean the outside of the case you may need to use a little bit of lukewarm water. Uh, some mild soap would also help. If you use a mechanical mouse, the kind of mouse that has the roller ball in it, you should clean that periodically also. As the roller ball rolls over the desk surface over the mouse pad, it picks up dust and dirt and oils from your hand and this dust and debris can collect on the roller and it can collect on the ball itself. This can make the mouse pointer kind of jump and skip as you move it across the screen. To clean the mouse ball and rollers, first thing you need to do is remove the mouse ball. To do so, you hold the mouse upside down with one hand with the roller ball facing up. And use the edge of your fingernail or you can use the pads of your fingers to turn the mechanism that locks the ball in place. Once I've got it turned, I can turn the mouse over. The ball and the holder will drop out then I can see inside the mouse. Inside mechanical mice you'll find three rollers. There's an X roller that will roll forwards and backwards. There's the Y roller that will run side to side and then there's also a little roller ball in here that will keep the roller ball in place. Sometimes these get dust and debris that cakes on them. You can use sometimes you can use your fingernails to clean these a lot of times you may want to use one of these plastic toothpicks. You can see this one has quite a bit of dust and debris caked onto the rollers. You should be able to scrape that with this toothpick. If it's caked on there you may need to put some warm water on there. But you should be able to, with a little bit of work, scrape the majority of that caked on debris on the roller ball and then both the X and the Y rollers. Once you've cleared the debris from the rollers, you can use compressed air down the center of the mouse to blow out the debris that may have fallen down inside there. Next thing you can clean is the mouse ball itself. A lot of times these will become caked with dust and debris. Generally you can use your fingernail and scrape off anything that you may find on there. A little bit of warm water and maybe some mild soap would clean that up also. The last thing to clean are the little pads on the bottom of the mouse that go over the mouse pad as you roll it. Some of these can become caked with debris. You might be able to use a toothbrush to scrape under them. Some warm water on a cotton swab also works. Or sometimes the plastic toothpick to be able to scrape some of the dirt and debris that gets caught on these pads. Once all the parts of the mouse are clean, you can put it back together. Generally just drop the mouse ball into the hole. 
line up the plastic connector that holds it into place and then twist it back into place. Now your mouse should be relatively clean. It should stop some of that jerking and jumping as you move it. If you use an optical mouse, the type of mouse that has an LED or laser light on the bottom, you can clean the LED light by using compressed air to spray the dust and debris. And then you also have to clean the little pads. Same procedure as with an optical mouse. You can use a toothbrush to scrape around the pads. Some warm water and a cotton swab, a cotton ball possibly, or you can dig down with a plastic toothpick. Cleaning the top and the roller ball or the mouse wheel, you can use toothpick again. You might be able to use a mild detergent. You don't want to get these things wet, but you do want to keep these free of dust, debris, and the oil that might come on your hands. So it's a good idea to wipe these down occasionally. In this video, I showed you how to clean the inside of your computer case and the major components, and also how to clean a mechanical and an optical mouse. Hopefully you can use this knowledge to keep your mouse and your computer clean. Good luck, and thanks for watching.